I don't know about you guys, but I love to read. And if you're not part of a book club, not a problem because the Vale Valley each and every spring really creates their own book club. It's valley wide. And here to tell us more about One Book, One Valley is my girl, Mary McDougal. It's so good to have you on the show. Hi, thanks. I appreciate you having me. Yeah. So yeah. for people that aren't familiar with One Book, One Valley, that you've been doing this for years, but we're kind of in the midst of it right, right. now. Right. We're really coming into the really busy season of One Book, One Valley. So One Book, One Valley is a, a community-wide event. It's designed to promote literacy and a sense of community by putting, choosing one book and uh, encouraging everyone in the community to read it. And so it can be like a community-wide book discussion. And so it's kicked off last month, and the book selection this year is called The Last of the Menu Girls by an author from New Mexico named Denise Chavez. And she'll actually be coming to the Valley in a few weeks and doing some events here. But in the meantime, we've got some uh, One Book, One Valley related events coming up. Um, so tomorrow at Vail Public Library will be the book discussion for the book. And if you don't have the book, you can come by the library and check it out, or you can go to the bookworm and buy it. Um, it's available a couple of different places. Um, so that book discussion will be tomorrow night. And then continuing into the theme of sort of the culture of the American Southwest, we have a movie screening next week for the movie Cesar Chavez. And then the following week, we have a really interesting program. I think it will be interesting, a storyteller um, from the American Southwest, and he'll be at, at Vail Public Library on Wednesday as well. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of different events yeah. that are associated with this book. It's not just, you know, read the book and call it good. It's like, no, you read the book and then you really get to participate in a, in a discussion in a variety of different ways. Right, yes. And yeah. we, so we've tried to incorporate at the library and with the other partners in One Book, One Valley. It's not just Vail Public Library. Our partners include CMC and the Bookworm and our local uh, schools. And so when the author, Denise Chavez, visits in uh, the week of the second, I believe, like the first week of April, she's going to be doing a lot of um, appearances at our schools and at the Bookworm. And then the grand finale is going to be a author discussion and presentation at um, CMC on the April 4th. And the public is all welcome to come, even if you haven't read the book, you're certainly welcome to come and participate in the discussion and, and uh, enjoy the author. Well, and there's still plenty of time until right. April 4th <laughs> to get the book and right. to read it. And that is something that I think is just so spectacular about this program is that you do bring the authors in. I mean, how often yeah. do you actually get to see the authors in person who are writing some of your favorite books? Right. It's, very, it's a special kind of thing to do and to get to interact with the author. And over the years, they've always been very approachable. And of course, like, most of them are very happy to be in Vail. <laughs> right, right. Of course. It's not certainly not a bad place to be. Right. And then, you know, on top of One Book, One Valley, of course, you always have these great programs just year-round. And there's another one that's coming up for the seniors. Can you tell yeah, us Yeah, so that? another okay. one which I want to mention is tomorrow. Um, so Bell Public Library partners with several of our local senior seniors groups. And tomorrow there's an event at the Eagle River uh, Presbyterian Church in the afternoon. And it is called Super and Sensational Seniors is sort of the, the, the title of the series. And this will be a discussion of um, a town that is said to be the, uh, or a settlement said to be the original settlement in Eagle County called Astor City. So it's sort of a little historical peak at um, Eagle County. And so, and the public is welcome to attend. There's no RSVP required. That's so fun. Well, Mary, thank you so much for coming on this morning yeah, and just you. telling us all about yeah. these great programs. And you know, the pro the programs don't stop. You know, between t tomorrow and then also through One Book One Valley, they really they have phenomenal programs year round. So go to vaillibrary.com if you want to learn more about what they do on a daily basis. Coming up next, we have a last look at that local weather forecast. So don't go away.